we are going to start with an empty project so I have a tutorials folder as you can see and inside of it there is nothing no file no folder so let's create a new project in our empty tutorials folder npm oh sorry mpx create expo app notify notify is the name of the app that we are going to use or create in this entire lecture let it install it will install some files and folders and dependencies you can wait during this time once it is done i'm going to change the directory with the command cd notify so that we are now pointing at the notify project and now let's start the project on our emulator with the command npm start you can see the notify folder has been created and inside of it are our files and folders this is the app.js file that we will be working on and the app is now running on the emulator as you can see on the right hand side I'm going to edit the text and write down notify and then run the command again and it will show notify now instead of the default text now we are going to install some dependencies stop the server by pressing ctrl c this will stop the server install the dependencies of notification and device you can copy it from the description after the dependencies have installed reload the app and it should work just fine Now we are going to copy this code, the link is in the description, copy it and paste it in your app.js file. Make sure to remove all the previous code that is in the app.js. Don't worry about what the code is doing right now, that will be explained later. Once it is done, you can reload the app. And you can see in the Expo Go app on the right side that we are getting some sort of token the title body and data and a button blue button that is saying press to schedule a notification and along with it an error not an error but a warning a warning is um, something that is not related to notifications it is related to the fact that i don't have an eas.json file right now which we will be creating um, soon and if i press the blue button you're going to see that I received a notification. Let me just show it on the notification bar. You've got mail, here is the notification body. So that is what this entire code is doing. It is generating the notification. And here is the entire content that we can change later on. Um, the delay of two seconds, the, uh, the message body, data and title. You can edit all of this over here, which we will do right now. Let's rename it to Soul and press the button and you can see that the notification has changed here is the notification soul so we have the body and the soul now as you can see we are getting an error or a warning um, that is not because of any notification um, code that we wrote it's because of that i created this project from scratch and it does not have any eas.json file or a project id in that matter so we need to have these two things and that's exactly what I'm going to do so that, so that we can get rid of this error or warning. So let's create a new file and name it eas.json and copy this code from the web page. The link is given in the description. Paste it in the eas.json file. Those of you who do not know about this file, just keep in mind that it helps in building the app. And once you build the app, it will automatically generate if it isn't found. But I am creating it manually so that I can get the project, um, project ID and this warning is removed. Otherwise, I can wait for, the, for building it at the end of this project. But let's get rid of this warning now. 
Now upon running this app, um, we will still get the error. And in the file, you can see that there is no project ID. But we will be getting that project ID in just a second. So let's stop the server and run the command EAS build configure. This is going to set up our EAS.json file and the project ID. Make sure that you are logging into your export dashboard. And you can see that in app.json, we have EAS project ID, which was not there before. Now we are all set up and we can run our or reload our project and the warning should be gone. There you go. Our warning is removed and our notifications are working. Now let's test our app or notifications from an external server, which, and for that we're going to use export dev notifications. Again, the link I will provide in the description. Copy the token from the console into the first input field. This token is same as the one you are seeing on your screen on the right side. Leave all the other input fields blank. Just enter the message title and the message body. and click on send notification and you can see that our title and body are being shown on the emulator and we have received the notification from the external server you can also add the data in json format so let's add the first property parameter 01 and its value should be it can be any value. Now let's send notification again and the data is also being received.